Servus, my name is Ontmu and today we're going to talk about stream labels and how to set them up using Streamlabs Desktop. Before we start with the guide, a quick introduction to what stream labels actually are. Let's say I, Ontmu, follow your stream and you have an alert set up. Usually, at first, the alert will be triggered. That might be a new follow alert such as this one. Once the alert was triggered, so the live event that just happened, the next thing that usually happens is the stream label will update to the latest follower or the most recent follower, which then would show my name, such as here. So to summarize, if a live event happens on your stream or even off stream, then a label will update if you have set it up properly. The most common labels include latest follower, latest subscriber, latest cheer or latest donation. So why should you consider setting up stream labels for your stream? Well, most importantly, it's a tool for you as a streamer to show appreciation to events that your viewers have done to support your stream. Like I said before, if someone follows your stream or even donates, then you can trigger an alert, but a label will stay up on your stream for way longer. And if such events don't happen a lot of the time, then you will see the person's name that supported you on your stream all the time. And it kind of shows appreciation for what they've done to support you. But not only that, showing stream labels permanently on your screen, for example, might motivate other people to support your stream, such as follow or donate, for example. So stream labels can be a very cool user retention tool and just show a lot of love and appreciation for the support you received. Some of the most common providers on the market are Streamlabs, which we are going to talk about today, or Stream Elements, which we already have a guide provided using that. So if you need help, just go onto your YouTube channel or click the video on top of here or Old Pro, which is our own service that offers stream labels, stream alerts and everything with almost no setup and just a couple of clicks. So if you're struggling setting up labels, alerts and you just want to go live and start streaming, I highly recommend checking out Own.pro and the easy setup, especially because it's free to use. And don't worry, if you need help setting up those things, then we also have a complete Own Pro tutorial guide with all the other amazing tools that we have to offer. All right, let's get started. First, visit streamlabs.com and use the login button on the top right corner to connect your account if you haven't done so already. And also next to the login button, you will find a download button, which you have to use to get the Streamlabs desktop app onto your PC. Just download it, install it and start the program. Once you have Streamlabs desktop installed, this is how the interface looks like. There's one important difference though. We already set up a couple of scenes and added a webcam media source, as you can see on the screen, which we did in a previous video. If you want to set up a label in Streamlabs Desktop, you go into the Sources tab, click on the plus sign, you add the stream label widget here on the right side, add a source, then you have to name the source. In this case, since we want to do the latest follower, we will also name it latest follower. Click on the add source, and now we have our first stream label set up. On the top here, you will find the label type. You can click on it and scroll through and see all the available options that you have. If you don't want to keep searching, then you can also enter the label that you're looking for. In our case, I will just add follower and then I can see all the follow labels that are available. For this video, we'll choose the most recent follow label. Click on it. And now, as you can see already, owned underscore music is the most recent follow we had on stream. As you can see, we have a real follow yet, owned underscore music. If you don't have a follow yet, then the label will be blank and it's really hard to set it up. So what I recommend doing is getting a friend to follow you so you can set up the label and then copy the settings onto your other labels or find another way to get a first follow in just so it's a bit easier to set up. So now that you've created the label, you have various options here such as font size and other things which we'll get back to in a sec. First, we're going to scroll down and go to the alignment here. I'm going to set it to center as well as the other one to center and activate the use custom text extents. As you can see now, the text looks a bit different because the wrap function also activated. I'm going to unselect it and now this is how the box looks like. I'm going to move this to the right now and then also move this box down to the latest follower on top of our webcam. Place it kind of here, but as you can see, the box, the square is outside of the label and it kind of cuts off the follow name. To change that, we'll go back into the stream label option that we have open and we can change the width and the height here and play around with it. It's a bit of a trial and error, so just see what fits best. In our case, for example, let's try 180 and definitely take some of the height away. Let's put it to 40 and 
Match is pretty much perfect already first try, so that's great. If you want to change the label Lyman, then you can click on the label and you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to slightly move it up and down until you're really happy with the placement. In my opinion, this looks really good, so I'm going to leave it like that. If we're looking back into the settings, then we can leave it as is. Important, if you change the font, for example, then it will change here as well. So if you have a bigger or smaller visual that you want to add the label in, then maybe also change the font according to the size of the box so that it fits perfectly. In our case, the 36 actually matched perfectly well, so we're going to leave it at that. And we confirm now, and as you can see, the label works and it's fine, and it would update if we get a new follow in. It looks good and ready, but we have a really cool feature here at own that we deliver our packages, including the fonts that we used. As you can see here, the text in the label called latest follower is a different font than the label text itself that we just added on top. To change that, I will now quickly show you how to install a font and also how to change it inside your label. If you want to add the font inside your stream label that we use to create the package that you purchased, you open up the overlay folder in your windows, such as in this case, Brave Series Premium English package, click on it, go on to quick start, the fonts, and here you see all the fonts that we use to create your package. Just double click on each individual font file, click on the install button, wait a couple of seconds, repeat the process until you're done. Important, restart your Streamlabs desktop app once you installed all the fonts, because otherwise it doesn't recognize them. Now we go back into Streamlabs desktop, we double click on the latest follower label, we scroll down a little bit and here is the font family. And if you click on the font family and you scroll down a little bit, you can see, for example, Europhonic, which is the brave package font that we just installed, is right here at the top. So all the custom fonts are usually at the top, or you can also enter the custom font name here at the top again, such as we did with the label search. Click on your phonic and now it adapted to the font that we've been using inside the package and now matches the overlay as you can see here. It looks really cool, it's the same font. But as you can see now, what it also did is it changed the length of the text because the font size is different. If you want to adapt it and make it a bit longer again, you double click again, you move it to the right so you can see it. And here, for example, we could adapt the font now a little bit maybe to match better. Such as here, if you want to, maybe that's a little too big, maybe I want to put it down a little more, 36. Actually, the 36 still works pretty fine, I think. We keep it as that. I click on it again, maybe rearrange it a little bit more. Works really well with the font. I think it looks amazing. And that's pretty much it. The follower label is ready to go. And if you get a new follower, it will automatically update. A quick info though. If the name is longer than what we currently have, like owned underscore music, then it might cut out in the end because we limit the box size of the label. So if a name has a lot of letters, then it will just cut out at the end here. If you assume that you will have people with longer names and you want to always show the full name, then there's an easy way to fix that with a scrolling text function. To add a scrolling effect to your label, right click on latest follower, go onto the filters and edit a filter, click on the add filter function, the filter type, and then you choose the scroll filter option. Click on it, add, and now we have a scroll filter and you can choose the horizontal or vertical speed, but obviously it makes most sense to have a horizontal speed here. Just drag it to the side and now you can see it starts scrolling and you can pretty much adapt it to however fast or slow you like it. Usually if I have a scrolling effect, I like it rather slow because otherwise it looks very messy. Um, you keep it on loop, you close it and now the filter effect is here. So if you have longer names, they would pretty much scroll like this. But obviously also shorter names scroll like this, but it makes it just 100% visible to everyone. And now you have your first stream label with Streamless desktop setup and you're ready to go. A small extra tip at the end of the video that I always give, especially at the beginner videos, start grouping early. What do I mean by start grouping early? If I click on, for example, the webcam here, so the media source file, and I move it, as you can see, the label stays behind. So if you just want to switch up your scene, then you would always have to move all your labels by hand as well. It's quite annoying, right? So what you can do is you left click on latest follower and left click on webcam Bray, for example, and then you click on the group symbol next to mixer here. Choose a name of your liking. I will call it webcam group in this case. If I'm not typing wrong three times, click on done. Now we set up a group. What happened here, we had two sources here before, like single sources. If you want to see them, you click on the little folder file tab here. And now you see the latest follow and the webcam brave, so the media source file, inside this group. What this does is, as you saw before, when I moved one part, the other part stayed behind. But if I want to move all of them at the same time, you just click on the webcam group and you move them around together. 
and you can also resize them together. So if you just pull them here with left click, see, they get bigger and smaller and they stay the same and they adapt the same. That's why I highly recommend starting to group early and use the groups to your advantage. One important side note though in Streamlabs desktop, if you don't click on the webcam group in your sources, but you only click on the webcam frame here, for example, you will also only move the webcam frame. So please make sure that you always click on the group inside your sources and then move it. I really hope this video was helpful. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like and or a comment. If you need more help in setting up your stream or other assets from our overlay packages, then please have a look at our playlist. We might have the right video just for you. My name is Onmu, I hope you enjoyed the video and we here at Owned wish you many new followers and active chatters in your upcoming streams and see you in the next videos. Bye bye.